Pancreatic cancer has recently made headlines. Popular quiz show host Alex Trebek is back at work hosting Jeopardy after announcing he's been diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. I plan to beat the low survival rate statistics for this disease. Truth told, I have to, because under the terms of my contract, I have to host Jeopardy for three more years. So I'm joined now by Dr. Andrew Lowy, a professor of surgery at UC San Diego Health. Welcome. Thank you, happy to be here. So doctor, how common is pancreatic cancer? So pancreatic cancer will affect around 57,000 uh, Americans this year as new cases. Uh, that puts it uh, as a relatively common cancer, but much less common than for instance, breast or prostate cancer, which will affect each over 250,000 uh, Americans each year. So what are some early warning signs, some early symptoms? So the biggest problem that we have in treating pancreatic cancer is its late detection. And the reason that it's detected late is there really are no early warning signs. Uh, the most common symptoms that people will have will be weight loss uh, and abdominal pain or back pain. Um, really the earliest sign uh, tends to be the onset of jaundice, meaning uh, people's skin becoming yellow, uh, and that's from when the cancer obstructs the drainage of bile from the liver. Um, but that, even that is not really an early sign, typically. Are there some habits that um, people may have that make, make them more susceptible to this type of cancer? Yeah, so there are what we call uh, modifiable risk factors, uh, things like smoking. Uh, obesity is clearly a risk factor, and heavy alcohol use also increases the risk. Can you tell me, doctor, what's the survival rate? So for patients diagnosed uh, in 2019 with pancreatic cancer, the five-year survival rate is only 9%. And what about stage four? So for stage four patients, the five-year survival rate is, is more on the long lines of 1%. Is there anything that people should be doing more of, like early screenings? What can people do? Unfortunately, the pancreatic cancer isn't common enough uh, to make a screening test uh, really feasible for the general population. But there are high-risk groups, uh, patients who have an increased risk above the average person, and those are patients who have a family history, and we, we denote that as having two or more first-degree relatives who've had pancreatic cancer. Patients who have certain types of cysts in their pancreas uh, are at increased risk. Uh, patients who have, um, who's, are known to carry genetic mutations that can predispose to pancreatic cancer if someone in their family has had pancreatic cancer before and chronic inflammation of the pancreas, like chronic pancreatitis. Those are patients who we think deserve screening. And at, uh, at Morse Cancer Center at UC San Diego Health, uh, about three months ago, we, we inaugurated a pancreatic cancer prevention clinic uh, to address that population of patients, to provide them access to screening tools, and to really study uh, new, new techniques to both uh, detect uh, and treat pancreas cancer. Popular quiz show host Alec Trebek recently announced that he's battling stage four pancreatic cancer. When someone as high profile as, as him announces that, that, that he's battling the disease, from your perspective, do you think that that's helpful to, to raise awareness or? I think, I think it's incredibly helpful. Uh, you know, uh, pancreatic cancer, because the survival rates are so grim, uh, suffers from a, a lack of faces of the disease. Uh, when you don't have a lot of survivors, it's harder to get the word out. And uh, I think it was really brave of him. And I think it's incredibly helpful to shine a light on the need, the urgent need for uh, further research. Uh, pancreatic cancer is underfunded compared to, it's the third leading cause of cancer death in the United States, but it doesn't receive nearly as much funding from the federal government as do cancers such as pre breast and prostate cancer, which although more common, uh, don't claim as many lives.